everybody. Welcome to an episode of Grave Time. My name is Christian Apple. Today's episode takes place in Dixon, California. It's getting dark, as you can see. Not very much light left. Uh, yet it's kind of smoky and hazy due to all the crazy fires we're having here in the state of California. Uh, but it's breathable. I can be out here and breathe and not feel congested. But anyways, um, so this here is Milk Farm Road. And as you can see, there's obviously some cows here. Obviously for milking purposes. Maybe more, I don't know. But uh, anyways, here on this location here, used to be a restaurant. And it was called Milk Farm. And much like up the street here, or up the freeway here, uh, you get to Vacaville and you, uh, and when you get to Vacaville, you hit the nut tree, uh, which is which exists today, but it's no longer the nut tree that I grew up with in the uh, in the 80s and portion of the 90s. So Dixon had their own version of, uh, of the nut tree. You know, it was a place for people to stop, pull over from a long, long drive, you know, somewhere to stop and get something to drink, use the restroom, get something to eat. Um, before it was called the Milk Farm, it was ran by the Hess family and it was called Hess Station. But yeah, this iconic sign is still here. Uh, it used to light up at night, it doesn't light up at night anymore. Um, but yeah, like I said, a very iconic uh, sign that you would see here on the freeway uh, going, um, going down on the freeway. You know, either going towards San Francisco or leaving, leaving like Vacaville going towards uh, Davis or even Sacramento. Now, because of uh, Milk Farm, uh, the town of Dixon was coined a nickname, which I don't ever hear today, but it was known as uh, Dairy Town due to the Milk Farm. Something interesting about the Milk Farm, you know, like some mom and pop restaurants, they have this thing, you know, like, oh, you know, if you can, you, you you can eat the biggest steak, and you you know you get an award, or you get your name plastered up on the wall as one of the people that could eat the biggest steak, or I don't know. Anyways, milk farm, they had a thing. Whoever could drink the most milk, I don't know. You had to drink a certain amount of milk, but the most person that could drink the most milk got the honor of having their picture taken and being up on the wall of honor. <laughs> now they're now when the um. I think it was 1986, uh, there was a windstorm of some kind that took place through here in Dixon and it ripped a giant hole in the, in the roof of the, uh, of the restaurant, which uh, ended up causing um, the restaurant not to be safe for people to be in. Therefore, um, they ended up closing the place down and there's talks about, you know, uh, re uh, renovating it and this and that through the years and at some point it just became old and rotten, old building. And it just decayed, and and the city or the town—I don't know if Dixon's a city or town anymore. Uh, we'll call it a village. <laughs> no, it's not a village. But they they made the, a decision to tear it down, and some of the things they saved in case they decided they ever wanted to build another one, the same location, or perhaps in a different location. 
they would have some some of the main artifacts from that building, as well as the iconic sign that still stands today, which, you know, um, going back to my episode on Sam's Town, you know, uh, Cameron Parker's done a very fine job of erasing all the history of Sam's Town. I don't know if that was something they're ashamed of or what, but that was something that brought revenue into Cameron Park. Um, so Dixon's pretty smart. They've left up the sign. They've left the iconic sign up because it is an iconic thing. It is a, it is a historical landmark, even though there's no plaque here saying what it is. It is considered a historical landmark in Dixon. And, um, you know, I'll, just like, you know, the nut tree, the city of Vacaville did make an effort to save the nut tree. And so in 95, you know, it was, you know, it was basically filed for bankruptcy and, you know, they sold everything. And, you know, different developers came in and tried to make the, the nut tree something different. And today it's, you know, it's, you know, they got a fair, you know, um, the merry round and they got a little train that, you know, the original train from the, the nut tree, but, you know, it's sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And every time I've been there, it's never there because it's broken. <laughs> so... This is the milk farm. This is the iconic milk farm that made Dixon. Without this place, Dixon would not exist, if you ask me personally. And I hope to God that they never tear down this sign. I hope it stays up. I would actually like to see Dixon restore the lighting, the light fixtures inside, and have it light up once again. But for now, I'm just thankful that it's still standing today. This day and age is still standing uh, because it is an iconic thing, and it, it's basically the symbol of Dixon. That shall do it for this episode of uh, Grave Time. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this is a very short episode, and I apologize. But there was only so much I could I could tell you that I could find online, and just from talking to people uh, here and there. Uh, please uh, like, subscribe, tell your friends, comment on this episode, comment on other episodes, and uh, thank you so much for watching, supporting my channel. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye.